Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and here we are with Phoenix Wright Contender Court. This is the Phoenix Wright fan game, which was released, Jesusly, 12 years ago. And I, I can basically almost remember it like it was, well I wouldn't say yesterday, but quite a long time ago, but it's still quite fresh in my mind. And, well I don't know, I still remember quite a big of the few plot beats. All, most of the details are basically just gone from memory. And I really wanted to get back into the scene myself, but, and I thought, hey, why not go through it again, because I seriously want this game and the other, and a few other fan games for Ace Attorney, like, to have more spotlight, and a few people I've seen giving it attention I don't think are quite adequate. Definitely not throwing shade, I'm sorry. So, hmm, this is gonna be a fun time to go through. So let's start. Turnabout Scapegoat. Obviously, I'm like I'm not gonna spoil anything, but oh, I'm gonna probably be sitting here my own gosh in nostalgia. And this case starts off with a quite eerie start. With a home intruder. One down. One to go. So, you came. Ah, you gave me quite a shock there. <laughs> you look familiar. Have we met? Do you know why I called you here? No, I... Who are you? An old friend. Don't you recognize me? It's too dark. I can't see your face, but that scar... Do you know this place? Oh, I remember this music all. Oh. Um, isn't this where that murder occurred five years ago? Yes. And as fitting place as any for your death, sir. Sir? You! It can't be! Goodbye, sir. Our first look at the killer. You... you... N now I know who you are? How... how could you... <laughs> March 27th, 1.08pm, right in Coal offices. Wait, March... March 28th, I want... 28th, I want to see something. Yep, I think this does fit in nicely. I even looked up to the timeline of what the f like the the fi like technically the Phoenix Wright official game is. This I think this might fit quite nicely. This game is actually supposed to take place immediately, like I guess like a month after, like the third game, Trials and Tribulations. Where's Maya? She should have been back from the store 15 minutes ago. Maybe she stopped into Joe's for a burger or ten. Wait for clients is hungry business. Oh boy, that's that'll be something I get get used to. Like, mm. I know for like one of the like one of the games, like the writing is a bit nitpicky for me. Like I get, I'm very nitpicky about my about like you know how things are presented. But I know it gets good. Oh well, let's see what's on TV. Grrr, grrr. The body of Marvin Grossberg. <laughs> okay, that's a big thing to skip over. Huh? Hold it, what was that just now? Of the Grossberg criminal defense law firm. The body was found at south end of Verglas Bridge not more than an hour ago. The body has been removed from the crime scene by the police, who are saying the victim suffered a stab wound to the heart. Grossberg? Marvin Grossberg is Mia's mentor when she was a defense attorney when she was alive. Nick, I'm back! Hey, why so serious, Nick? I brought you lunch! Oh boy. This... I'm just getting so much nostalgia. And it also feels so weird to see all the... Uh, it's so... The, the sprites all pixelated. I'm so... I remember growing up actually just going through the remasters of the game with, like, you know, the modern sprites. And... 
Oh, I have to get used to that again. Maya, look at the TV. What? Grossberg? Is this his boss? Yeah, it looks like it. Who would want to kill Mr. Grossberg? Well, the only person I could think of was, like, Red White. But he's in jail, so, yeah, that's not gonna work. Looks like we've been in a murder case. We're just gonna wait until we get a client before we can... What? We can't wait that long, we can investigate! Obviously, if there is... If it's someone close to us, we're immediately gonna go jump headlong into it like we normally do. Like, haven't you ever, like... Like, Phoenix, you should be part of this by now. Like, what was it? There was murders, like, when we, when we were on the scene, we just, just started investigating willy-nilly without even knowing about it firsthand. Let's just do that normal shtick right here, right now! Slow down, eager McBeaver! We can't just become involved in a case just like that! Let's get to the detention center, at least. If there is a suspect, we'll have a client. If they want us to defend them. We shouldn't be doing this. We don't have police permission yet. If they're onto us, we're in big trouble. And, oh boy, we're already getting started. But I want to get used to different things. You don't have anything yet, of course. And, oh boy, it's been s Okay. So we can't go back and forth with these. Originally, a gift from Maya allows me to see the secrets of people's hearts. Oh, it's, it's all so... Okay, that's the buzzword for this whole thing. This playthrough. Instead of me saying cozy so many times in Celeste, now I'm gonna be saying nostalgic in these games. Well, that's be fun. Oh boy. Might as well get started. Oh boy, it's been so long. I have to get used to so many different things. March 27th, touch it's in our visitor's room. Excuse me, can I help you? We're here to see the suspect. I'm sorry, but Mr. Cicatrice is in questioning at the moment. Cicatrice? Uh, like, like... <sighs> I'm a sucker for cool last names, okay? Oh, that blows. Oh well, we'll have to come back later then. Cicatrice, that's a funny name. I can't tell if it's a pun or not. Like, Phoenix Wright names, if you don't know, are notorious for every single name, or at least most of them have some form of pun. Like, I'm, uh... Most of the victim, like most of the names, are like, obviously that like, has sort of that convention. Uh, like the very first culprit of the, fir of the first case of the series is literally just a um, uh, Frank saw it. Frank saw it. Ah, uh, okay. And for Phoenix Wright, it's obvious for translation. Maya Fey, she's in she the mystical spirit stuff. So Fey spirit. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What's up, Nick? The door, it's unlocked. Okay, so we're not actually inside the office just yet. Uh, I can hear voices on the other side. Could be burglars. Let's burst in. What the f- Why would burglars want to go and break into a law firm? You hear that? You hear that one guy? I heard he's got a ton of cash in the way in his law books at the office. Really? Let's go break in. Ha! <laughs> Elmer's surprise. I like it. Let's do it! In the office, there were four people. Three of them were police officers, but the other... Gah! Who the hell are you? Uh, can I ask you the same question? I'm detective here, mate. I'll ask the questions. I would try to do a British, British accent because I know this character is British, but I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. And oh yes, the music! <laughs> it's nostalgic. <laughs> Uh, I detective here, mate. I'll ask the questions. Uh, Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. M Maya Fey, spirit medium. Um, at law. <laughs> spirit, spirit medium at large. Oh my God, what is that joke? Um, uh, there's a there's a, there's a midget psychic. They get on the run. He's a. <laughs> oh God, I'm butchering the joke. Oh, I'll try to remember it <laughs> later. Wait, the Phoenix Wright and Maya Fey? You heard of us? It's not like it's been three whole years of my. I wouldn't. I would say I'm. Uh... Oh yeah, I should probably just mention this now. I'll probably be spoiling like 
probably the first three games because this game takes place immediately afterwards. So I'm, uh, I would say undefeated record, but we did lose one case on purpose or not, depending on what you chose. You've heard of us? I'm sure. Who under the Forest Island? Uh, everybody except the the Gumshoe, perhaps. Yeah, because he was close to acquainted you from the very beginning, of course, obviously. Okay, fine, I don't know you. Okay, that's surprising, though. Uh, but I'm sure I heard Gumshoe talking about you sometime, sometime ages ago. But unless you can prove you are who you say you are, bugger off and leave the investigation scene. I don't think I can do... If I try to do a British accent, I'm just gonna be butchering it so far. Unless you can bugger off and leave the investigation scene. Holy Christ, that's terrible. I investigation but, 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 what have we got to do with this? Everything. You were actually the killer all along. Nick, is something you're not telling me? I'm sorry, Maya. I hid the bodies on the floorboards. I'm so sorry. I should have told you. Okay. Me? No. Listen, wh whoever you are, I own this place. This is my office. Oh, yeah? You normally barge into your own office like that, mate? Okay. Stay there a sec, you two. Smith, get richer than this phone. Sir. You should have seen your face, Nick. Huh? You were so scared. Hey, so are you. Hey, Richard, it's Snow. I got a couple guys here barging in on investigation. Blue suit, spiky hair. Hang on a second. You! Huh? Me? What did you say your name was? Uh, Phoenix Wright? Why? Oh, you just told me your name was Harry Butts. Fucking Christ, I thought we were over- well, never mind, actually, because literally I think I remember him actually doing that in the third game as well. In the first game, uh... <laughs> I think the second game was the same way, too. Uh... <sighs> Come shouldn't, shouldn't know my name by now, surely. No. No, he shouldn't. I'll have you know Mr. Butts lying to the police is a serious offense. My name's Phoenix Wright! Hey, pal, are you still there?! Yeah. No, but he says his name's Fiend X, right? Or something weird like that. Yeah, there's a girl wearing some sort of. I don't know. What? Oh, thanks, Richard. Gumtree says you two own this place. You should have said. <sighs> I did! Weird, why'd you call Ryden Co. when your name's Harry Butts or Phoenix Rider or whatever the hell you call yourself when you talk to people and they ask what's your name and then you go and reply with Harry Butts or Phoenix Rider or whatever the hell you call yourself. Nick, make it stop! Okay, we get a combination of Kumchu and Wendy Old back here, this be great. Oh, I love this dude. He's my favorite character this whole entire fan game. Oh yeah, this is not a singular case, by the way. This is actually a whole-fledged fan game. Four cases in total. Oh. And over Harry Butts's, why did Richard go and tell me that? But anyway. Uh, fair enough, you own this place, but you'll just stay out of the way. This place has something to do with the case at hand. Huh? My office? How? It's part of a drug trafficking ring, I'm sorry. Who are you? Detective Robert Snow. This is only my second time in a practical investigation, to be honest with you. I made a right muck up my first one, so I was banished to the paperwork room. Very, very sad backstory. The tears inside. I guess you could call it a second chance. Not that second chance exists in a stupid, miserable job like this when the pace of luck can even buy decent news the days when I have appetites like a whale. But anyway, just add a little salt to that. It can, it, it can make it more tasty. That's what Gumshoe taught me. What can I do you for? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a fun. T I'm gonna have so much fun going through this again. Oh. How's the investigation going so far, Detective? A catastrophic success. Oh yes, the catchery! <laughs> Is that good? It's more than good. It means it's both bad and good. You tell me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Before she to cry. Why are you here? What do you think I'm here? Investigating, of course. But what has this office got to do with the murder? Uh, we found a playing card near the body. Uh, so? So, I thought it was odd. Did you look into it? Was a little... I think there's blood or at least paint on it? Well, duh. Uh, let's just go to that first then. What's the deal with that card, Detective? Uh, you know, I was thinking the same thing a few hours ago. And? I figured something kind of messed behind the killing. 
possibly about who did it, why they did it, and how they did it. Ah yes, the three what ifs. Who, why, how, and there. Really? How the hell should I know? We just found him the body. Uh, someone just shoot me. Well, we will sh we'll get shot at later by someone else, don't worry. But see, mate, this card is the reason I'm here. Huh? Why? That, that's confidential. <laughs> this card links us to the crime we're in the killers. <laughs> is that a snow? What do you know about the crime? The victim was Marvin Grossberg, the head of some law firm I never heard of. If I only can remember the name of it, the something criminal defense law form. I wonder what it is. I think he's actually called the something criminal defense law form, don't worry. If only make it easier to remember. But anyway. He was killed at roughly midnight. That, that that's that's what we that's what we're guessing. From a stab wound to the heart. He was murdered at Verglass Bridge. Verglass Bridge? Never heard of it. I ain't surprised, it's up in the mountains. That bridge provides access to Neville, in a small village just outside the, the city. Neville? So Mr. Grossberg was on his way there? He must have been. Why else would he be up in the mountains? Was he up there to get some frozen groceries? Why midnight? Uh, don't you know you get the good groceries at exactly midnight on the dot? Well, technically, like, witching hour is like 3 o'clock, so I'm like, he should've got it then, but... Midnight is second best hour to get groceries. You know? Yeah, you can get the autopsy from Jake. He's up at the crime scene right now. Uh, we don't have a client yet, Detective. So? <laughs> we can't investigate. We don't have permission until we get a client. Uh, don't worry, mate. I'll let you off this time. Call it special permission. Is there, is, is there any wonder why I love this guy? Let me off. Is he a detective or a gym teacher? A uh, combination of so many different things. So many different things, you have no idea. So many different things. Uh, give this a Jake. Tell him I said you could have a copy. F a day if. F a day if. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, uh, is it the right way to pronounce that? Jake, huh? Where have I heard the night before? Well, I already, already, obviously already know, but I'm gonna leave that away! Well, Nick, it looks like we got a crime scene to investigate and fall off a bridge off of. This is gonna be a fun time. Yay! <laughs> Good luck, mate. We've already been up there. What did you find? <laughs> I'm not liberty to vote on information, as they say. Please be straightforward for once. Wait a second. OBJECTION! He gave us permission thingy so we can investigate the crime scene. So why wouldn't, why wouldn't we find anything if all the evidence was, there still th was to be still there? Unless he's the one feeling awkward this time. We'll still be around here for a while longer. We gotta make sure there's no illegal going-ons, like I'm, uh... Forced evidence. I need to search till there's nothing else here that ties to this case. He still hasn't told us why he's here. Let's check out the crime scene, Nick! <laughs> oh, I love this music. Oh, I wanna look at the affidavit again. Let's see, click. Click. Received from Detective Snow. Show to Jake for autopsy report. Ah, uh, probably just also just pushing the ground. Oh, it's so cool to see it all. Like, ah, uh, it's like so nostalgic. It just feels like I'm right back years ago. Like I couldn't play this game like for the life of me because my computer back then was a crock of shit. <laughs> I couldn't do anything at all. Like, oh, I remember actually, like, here's a good example. So I'm, uh, on that, that stupid computer I had years ago, I tried to play Undertale with it, and literally every single screen was filled with so many graphical areas, which is not the game's fault. The gameplay was fine, but literally every other time it's just me, like, just seeing sprite sheet art in sp for characters which we're not even supposed to know about yet. It, that's how terrible my computer was back then. It's great. It's freezing up here, Nick. I'm not surprised. You, you should have worn something warmer. Uh, hey, there's the crime scene. Well, Maya likes to go under freezing water bolts, okay? So, this should help us spear training, okay? I mean, yeah, she technically still is training to be a master. And I guess Pearls is off doing something else. Who, who's that? 
Hello. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can we ask you some questions? Hmm. <laughs> Just throwing some shade on him. Okay, he's gone. With a flourish. With a, I would say cape, but that was a jacket, a trench coat. How rude! Hey, come back. Oh, he's gone. Now I got a reek of suspicion. I wonder who he is. Hey, Nick. I was looking at the body tape over there. Shouldn't it be white? That's so it can be seen in the snow, Bambina. Oh, yes, okay. Time to get my Texas... Texan accent. Now, partners, this is the crime scene. The bridge is off till sundown. Nick, look! A cowboy! Don't be silly, Maya. How could there be... Hi, again. Hey, I said Phoenix right. Well, I'll be damned. Now, there's a familiar face. Jake Marshall. Long time no see. Whoa, you know each other? You know a cowboy, Nick? How could you? You're great! You're... <laughs> okay. I don't have no idea what's going with that. Oh, of course. Maya was away when I was involved in a case where I met Jake Marshall. Rise of the Ashes case. Good case. Check it out. Well, if you're here and you haven't seen Phoenix Wright games, then I'm, uh... What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> uh, it was a patrolman I met during a case two years ago. Ugh, glug it. Nice, some nice juicy steak juice in that thing. Not, obviously not booze. We can have booze in a Phoenix Wright game, don't you know? We can have blood in that, but not booze, obviously. And a pretty unique one at that. That detective chick Marshall to you, partner. I'm probably- I'm terrible at accents. <laughs> I'm terrible. Don't- don't enlist me for that kind of voice work. Your detective again? Oh yeah, I missed over that. You hear me right. Okay, I, I'm already going over all the place with it. To be honest with you, Compadre, that case three years ago was the main reason. What was Prospect and Gant behind bars? I've been fixing to get back to Detective Rank for a while now. Three months ago, I finally got my old rank back. How do you like that? Congratulations! Damn straight, Bambina. These two have certainly taken a shine to each other. <laughs> well, obviously, off is a track. Okay, let's not go with that. Shipping is not a bounty here, okay? Let's not, no. I'm gonna brush up my old West Lang when we get back. This is Marshall so cool. It's like another new hobby of mine, as I won't hear the end of. What? <laughs> Cowboy phase of life. Okay, Maya's gonna go into that. Oh no. Well, there was a space phase, the space phase of childhood, the cowboy phase, and I'm uh. What other phases of childhood are there? I know the teenage fa teenager phase is more often from uh. good and bad reasons. Which we're not gonna get into. But I'm only here today because I gotta play babysitter, that Greenhorn Detective. Greenhorn Detective? Does he mean Detective Snow? Obviously not! Do you see any green horns on that head of his? Of course not! Now, Detective Marshall, could you tell us some more about the crime scene? Hold your horses there, partner. How do I know you ain't trying to pull the wool over my eyes? Good point. I need proof you're working on this case before I can let you two dig around my gold mine. Our gold mine. Oh, fuck. Okay, those are quite a few, like, error messages, since I'm, uh, hmm. this is made in a, this is made in a programming software called Pyrite for, like, literally just the whole creation of fan-made cases like this, so, probably there's gonna be some rough edges around here, here or there, so, just bear with it. Oh, no, not. Let's, where is it? It's in the evidence there. Detective Marshall, would you have a look at this, please? <laughs> Another one of those letters of introduction. Snow? Snow's the auger of this gold mine? I suppose I should let you in our little prospecting then. Welcome to the ranch, partners. Oh, we've been shot! Guess I don't need this anymore. After they have crumbled up and discarded, tossed over the bridge and falling into the river down below. Wait, how do I know there's a river down there? Don't worry about it. Definitely didn't play this game before and didn't forget all the details about it. Did really not. We can always look around a bit. And I'll avoid the... <laughs> it's hard to believe Grossberg died right he right there. And I'm, uh, if I'm allowed to say, I'm, uh, that outline seems a bit too skinny. If I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at the body. <laughs> Somebody made a face in the outline with some tape. <laughs> it's a minute, it's pretty funny. 
suppose it is kind of funny in a cruel sort of way. A certain detective drew that face earlier. I ought to turn that dunderhead into, into the sheriff for that deviltry. Just to know, you have a weird sense of humor. It's my kind of humor. Don't worry about that. Oh, what's this? What's that in the snow? I already recognize Amelia just from looking at it closer. It's a prosecutor's badge! And I definitely... And, uh, just... <laughs> just flashing around the investigation spin-off game, so that's fun. What's this doing here? It couldn't belong to Mr. Grossberg. He was defense attorney. Hmm. Maybe changed professions while we weren't looking in the three in the two odd years since we last saw him. I thought something was off about that nugget. I don't remember seeing no prosecutor around these parts. It was just Snow and that other guy. That other guy? That reminds me, who was a strange man we saw earlier? He could be the, the prosecutor here, based on the badge? Well, he must be pretty careless. He's the pro prosecutor. He's dropping things around. That's gonna be fun. I better ask Detective Marshall if he knows anything. Marshall well, was about to die with the court record. Oh yeah, that's the card that Snow was mentioning earlier. That's supposed to be the card Detective Snow was talking about. What's the victim carrying it? <gasps> Nick, look, blood. Oh yes, that. Oh, you're right. It's strange. The blood is in some sort of shape. That's... It's... My first thought is like, you know, like I'm a... Uh, you know, it's anime or shows, like I'm a... Uh, when, like, characters, like, slice, it's always in a curved fashion. That's how it seems like here. So, the Grossberg decided to draw up on this card for, like, the, how the way he was stabbed. With a slice! Wait, no, he was stabbed, not sliced. Okay, well, there goes my stupid theory. As someone had smudged it. Hmm, maybe Grosberg did it with his last breath? That could be it. Or it could be the killer! Eh, well, that's, 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 actually that part's kind of stupid. Right now. He could have been trying to write the his name, but all I could see is a curved line. I wonder what he was trying to write. Did he die halfway through writing? If not, what does this smudge de signify? Crunching card into the card record. And there's a whole bit of blood. There's a large amount of blood on the left side of the body. This would suggest that the victim was stabbed in the heart. He was lying face down, that is. Do you think Mr. Grossberg passed out from the cold? Maya, please tell me you're joking. <laughs> I'm guessing he must have, like, passed out, like, you know, fell face face down, although... Don't know if that's gonna have any significance. Maybe. I'm trying to remember... Later on. Wait, what am I fucking doing? I'm not- I'm not- I'm not allowed to hint at things. Well, subtle hints. I'm allowed to do subtle hints and foreshadowing. Because I love doing that, right? <laughs> right. Can't look at that. But I think we're done here. There's another thing over here. Look, Nick, the murder weapon! <laughs> it's still hard to believe that Sinister Grossberg is on the end. Uh, Detective Marshall, are there any fingerprints in the murder weapon? We had a couple of those forensic types down there a while back. And? Sorry, partner. The varmint's sharp, I'll go that. Looks like we have a mystery killer again, Nick. I isn't that every case, though? Why can't we just have a simple murder case? Because then we won't have a game! And also the dramatics and the cool mystery solving is not, you know, it would just be less satisfying. I wonder, this is actually, like, I'm, uh, hmm. Well, technically, the first case is, like, most of the Phoenix Strike games, like, show you, like, um, uh, who did it the very first time. And we definitely got a glimpse of the killer. At least the shadow of the silhouette. In this case. So, huh. Hmm. You have no idea how many times I hope for that myself. It's strange, though. How they all seem to leave the weapon behind the scene. <laughs> okay, that is true. The mercury in the tip is the victim's, though. Knife hatch in the court record. Pretty impressive bon bonanza, right? B uh, bon bonanza. Okay. Okay. Virgus Blidge. Virgus Blidge. Okay, nice. Nice. The name itself makes me feel cold. Virgus. Is Virgus just another word for ice? Let me just look it up real quick. Uh, Virgus. Virgus. Thin coating of ice or frozen rain on an exposed surface. Yet that makes sense. That's actually um, uh, that's actually a cool name for a bridge, though. Like seriously, like really. 
I wonder if there's a pun the name for the town Niaville. Nia. Neophytes. Nematodes. It reminds me so much of Dusky Bridge, so I'm in no rush to cross. It apparently leads to a small village, but I can't see any signs of life on their side. Yeah, it's probably like way too far down that way. And it's probably just me, but uh, it like, hmm. Doesn't look like there's like any like foot holding, but there's like, there's no like wooden panels connecting it, but. Oh wait, it's that, it's this white thing right here. I was looking over here. I guess this is the, the yeah, that's the handrail. Oh my god, I always thought for sure, like, this bridge was out of commission forever, even though we can somehow teleport across the other side. Oh boy. But, I'll leave this off here. I'm gonna cut it down to, like, 30 minute episodes, just, you know, make sure everything's all neat and tidy. And that way I'm, uh, I can edit this down and make sure I don't spoil things later on, because I feel like I'll probably, like, start remembering everything by the end, probably. Probably. Maybe. Probably definitely. But, <laughs> this is gonna be a fun ride to get from here to there. Well, we just got the bases set up with the cases and all that, and the card. That's gonna be a very important contender. And, oh boy, I wonder how this is all transpiring with all the new characters around. So, have a fun time watching this as I am playing this. Please see you next time, the time may be, and I'll hope you have a fantastic day.